For the past few months I've been getting tons of requests to play the game Slender the 8 Pages because apparently it's the scariest game of all time. Well I played it, and it wasn't that scary. Now before I get ahead of myself, let me first tell you the tale of a person known as Slenderman. In 2009, Victor Surge entered a Photoshop contest on the Something Awful forums with a creature known as Slenderman. Along with the image, he wrote a creepy pasta story about how it stalked and kidnapped people. In the following year, Slenderman spawned fan art, a web series, and a Minecraft character. But it wasn't until June of 2012 that Slender the Eight Pages was released, which made Slenderman an internet phenomenon. The game revolves around you walking in a forest while attempting to collect all eight pages in a book. What supposedly makes the game scary is that when you least expect it, Slenderman shows up and you must get away or it's game over. Now going into this game, I was really hoping to be scared, but the thing is, I was barely startled. While the game is creepy, it certainly didn't bring me to tears like most people were leading me to believe. The first time I saw him, I flinched a little bit, then after that I got bored and turned it off. After my lackluster experience, I searched to see if anyone else wasn't frightened, but to my surprise, it looked like I was alone. All these other big YouTubers seem to be on the verge of having an emotional breakdown while playing Slender the Eight Pages. Some of these full-grown men were screaming like little girls and crying over this guy on their computer screen. So at this point I thought I was missing something. So I had my little brother play the game and he wasn't scared either. So at this point I was at a loss. I literally had no idea why everyone was claiming this was the scariest game of all time. Until I thought that maybe... Just maybe these YouTubers were pretending to be scared. I mean, just think about it. Couldn't it have been that early on a YouTuber made a video of them screaming and crying while playing Slender and viewers loved it? So after seeing the success of that video, tons of other gaming channels started jumping on the bandwagon by making their own over-the-top playthroughs, which seemed to be a pretty good strategy since a lot of them have well over a million views. Now before you leave a comment saying that I'm just trying to look cool claiming I wasn't scared, I'll admit that Slender is a good concept, but the fact that it relies on one pop-out scare that you already know about before playing the game makes me really question how legitimate these people's reaction videos are. So that is why Slender the 8 Pages is not scary. Well that isn't good.